So microbes are the most abundant life form on our planet and play vital roles in sustaining ecosystems. For instance, microbes can fix nitrogen for plants, help us to digest our food, they can harvest light and also remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So now, despite their extremely small size, microbes are incredible chemical factories that by far dwarf our own capabilities in molecule creation. For instance, some of our most successful drugs we use to treat disease are in fact created by the help of microbes. Think of antibiotics and other useful medicine. So now the digital revolution in biology set forth by DNA sequencing now enables us to sequence entire genomes. We have over 200,000 microbial genomes stored in the digital space. This is an incredible treasure trove for engineers to use. Now, every book that you can see here corresponds to a sequenced microbial genome. You can take any of these books and start to read the molecular instruction of all these organisms. This gives obviously new incentives and we can go beyond just simple reading genomes and start to imagine what will happen if we can write genomes. Writing genomes starts off with designing entire genomes at the drawing board, and then through chemical DNA synthesis, we can bring these digital genomes back into our physical world to create useful organisms. Obviously, writing genomes holds great potential, but we need to know how are we producing genomes. We produce genomes step by step. However, even the simplest microbial genomes comprise of many hundreds of genes that are arranged into a very long DNA molecule. So if you use conventional approaches to produce such a genome, this is a true tool to force that is very time consuming and costly. So we need to embrace here a different approach. We need to radically change our approach, how we engineer biology and embrace digital manufacturing. Where a computer is used to design the entire genome blueprint of an organism, and then we can create artificial cells. So now to achieve this vision, my research group at ETH Zurich develops computation algorithms to build entire genomes, starting from digital information. We develop computer algorithms to identify all the molecular parts necessary to operate a microbial cell. And then we use these computer algorithms to design sequences that are really easy to manufacture. So together with my team, we have created the first computer-generated genome. We have used this approach to completely rewrite the genome into a new sequence that no longer resembles natural sequences. However, on the level of the biological functions, these genomes still contain the same information. So now, if you take the perspective of a chemist, Synthesizing a genome is a big challenge. DNA molecules have the ability to stick to each other. They can form loops and knots, and this hampers the production process or renders manufacturing impossible. Our algorithm actually takes genomes and writes them into a new sequence that are easy to manufacture. However, it must be said, we have produced with this approach an entire genome, but an organism does not yet exist. However, we have taken portion of our genome and put it into living cells to test the performance of our computer-generated code. We learned that it's currently quite well working. 600 out of 700 genes are working, but this still leaves some room for further improvement of the algorithm. This tells us that biological systems are so simple that in future we can design them with the help of a computer to come up with new organisms with useful properties. This technology holds great potential to revolutionize biotechnology. In future, we can develop now entire customized organisms that will help us to produce complex chemicals, so-called living factories that we can use to develop novel biotechnology applications or therapies. So now, in addition to producing cells that will produce high-value chemicals, we can also use this approach to design cells, so-called living medicine, that will allow us to develop new advanced therapies with benefits for patients to improve health. So this approach shows us that DNA will be at the center of the next coming bioengineering revolution, where we use DNA to develop new advanced therapies. So this shows you that with the help of computers, 
we can breed new type of organisms. And in future, we can use these approaches to harness the incredible complexity of life. So now my question is to you, what type of microbes would you like to produce with the help of computers? <laughs>